So this video is going to be a demonstration of the Garmin GPS Map 66 SR multiband performance compared to uh, traditional uh, single band GPS units. So over here I am at the setup menu. So basically I already at the at this point I have the multiband disabled and I'm using GPS only. So we're going to check the accuracy of the GPS only with a single band. Um, and again, I'm at my work, which is pretty much concrete jungle. If you look outside, there's building everywhere and there is a really tall building uh, right in front of me. So the sky view is very limited. Um, over here is the signal strength, which gives you a four bar signal. And we're going to check on the satellite. And you have a GPS accuracy of about 10 foot. And this is using only GPS satellites. So it's able to find about seven satellites using the GPS only single band system with again accuracy of 10 foot. Okay. So now we're going to turn on the multi, uh, we're going to turn on the, the GNSS, which utilizes a few additional satellites but there's still no multi-band support. So the GNSS is already available in most of the other Garmin units, um, but the 66SR multi-band is the only unit at this point that supports L5 band for the GPS and also an additional E5 band for the Galileo satellites. Okay, so let's enable this one. We're gonna use multi-GNSS and still keep the multi-band off so I can show you guys the difference. So now there's a few tabs on the bottom. You have your Galileo, GLONASS, and GPS. Again, um, you have three different systems at your disposal. And as you guys can see, with single band with multi-GPS, G and SS system, the accuracy is still around 10 foot. So it hasn't improved despite having additional satellites. And again, concrete jungle, okay. So, and I thought this would be a perfect place to demonstrate how good the multi-band system is and why you should get the multi-band GPS, especially for outdoor use. Now let's enable multi-band. So we're going to actually go into setup and go into system and we're going to finally enable multiband. Once this is enabled, you can see there is an X2 on the machine. And when the X2 is displayed, that means the GPS is in multiband mode. We're going to quit and check on the satellite signal. Again, you got a full bar. And remember, when we had single band, you only have four bars. And check it out. For the Galileo, it's able to find three additional, a lot more satellites, okay? And interestingly, for GPS, it's able to discover only three L5 band satellites. But for Galileo, it discovered a lot more. For the GLONASS, it's, it's a single band. I don't think it supports multi-band. But what I want to show you guys is actually the positioning accuracy. You guys see that? Six foot. That's, that's almost pinpoint. So extremely accurate with multiband support. Now there's not a lot of GPS out there, uh, handheld GPS out there that supports multiband. And this is one of the first unit that supports uh, multiband, which is a GPS map 66 SR. So if you guys are looking for a accurate GPS, definitely consider this one, especially for outdoor use, hiking, mountain biking, you know, tour cycling, whatever. Uh, this will be a great addition. All right, so over here, I'm showing you guys the GPS signal or the accuracy in meters, uh, because I want to compare this with my cell phone, which only had GPS and single band signal, which is the GPS L1. Okay, I'm gonna put up a screenshot 
of my phone's GPS signal on the right side to compare with the signal on the left side, which is the Garmin GPS 66 SR with multiband. The accuracy, this is a very tricky area inside the building. I'm putting it on a chair far away from the window and I was literally leaving my phone over here as well. So that gives you guys an idea of the accuracy difference, especially in very tricky areas. So I can give you guys another test by actually switching off the uh, multi-band support and let's see what the accuracy is going to be without the multi-band. So that's going to be very similar to the GPS. Okay, so let's quit. I'm going to turn off the multi-band support, then we're going to give it another try. All right. So now, again, this is without multi-band support, okay? In the GPS, it's only able to find five satellites, in GLONASS, two satellites, and Galileo, two satellites. So in total, about nine satellites. Um, and it's giving me an accuracy of about 6.4 meters, which is slightly better than my cell phone, okay? Uh, but again, the difference really shines when you have the multi-band turn on and the accuracy in very tricky area is improved significantly significantly as well okay so i'm going to turn it back on so now we're going to wait because it's going to find additional satellites and increase the accuracy And again, very tricky area, I'll show you guys. So it's far away from a concrete building with a small window open right there. Okay, so very tricky area. And this is giving me an accuracy of better than six. And going to five, going to four, which is around 12, you know, 12 foot, give or take a few foot. Um, again, a significant improvement in tricky hard to navigate areas so that will be the reason for you to go and buy the multi-band Garmin 66 SR uh, the difference is actually quite significant all right so again I hope you guys find this video helpful in helping you making a decision on whether you should spend the money to buy the multi-band support or not in my opinion definitely yes because it improves the accuracy especially at hard to navigate area like dense woods in the city and as such okay so again if you guys have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section down below otherwise hope you found this video helpful and if you did please do hit the like button or subscribe and i should have more similar contents uh, coming out for you guys so as soon as i move this next to the window as you can see how crazy accurate this GPS is, okay? And uh, it will always be more accurate compared to the single band GPS, okay? All right, so that's it. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.